now this is a TPC 16 uh, illustration number 72 now uh, in this illustration there is a set X given uh, with n number of elements all different from each other now what we are supposed to do like uh, we are supposed to make two subsets P and Q um, uh, like uh, and, and these subsets to be formed with replacement means that we first of all select elements and we form subset P and then these elements are replaced back into the main set that is X and then Q is chosen so basically P and Q can have common elements can have same elements because we are forming Q by first of all uh, by we are forming Q by replacing the elements of P so uh, like they can have common elements the question is in how many ways we can form subsets P and Q such that the two subsets P and Q are disjoint that is P intersection Q is empty set there is no common element in P and Q or we can say P intersection Q is phi empty set now like see um, we um, like uh, we first of all uh, we divide this job of uh, like um, uh, forming subset P and Q into n jobs in the sense like uh, we will decide about every element from A1 to AN if we choose A1 element for A1 we have uh, these four options either A1 uh, can go in P but not in Q it can go in Q not in P it can go in P as well as Q basically it is chosen in sub subset P as well as in Q now uh, the last option is neither it is selected in P nor in Q these are four possible options for A1 now we have to see uh, what are the favorable options uh, uh, for favorable options for A1 so that uh, P intersection Q is empty so that uh, there should be no common element in P and Q now if there is no common element in P and Q it means uh, A1 element should not be present in both P and Q if it is present in both P and Q then it will come in P intersection Q right so we have to make sure that P is uh, A1 element is either present in P not in Q or in Q not in P or if it is not present in both then also it is fine right so basically this option is favorable option this also is favorable this is not favorable this again is favorable so even can go in P not in Q can go in Q not in P and the last option it goes neither of the two right in neither of the two so for even there are three options favorable so that it it, it so that it, 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 it is it, it P intersection Q is phi so that the given constraint is satisfied and similarly for A2 we have three options we can repeat the same thing again and again for A3 also we have th three options and this goes on till the last element AN so number of ways to form a subset P and Q such that their intersection is empty is same as number of ways in which we can decide about A1 to AN right and that is 3 to the power N now if we look at uh, illustration 73 uh, the question type is same uh, again set X is given with n elements all different from each other we have to form subsets P and Q now this time the question is different in the sense instead of P intersection Q equal to phi we have to find number of ways to form P and Q such that P equal to Q complement it means two sets P and Q should be complementary sets complementary sets means those elements which are not present in P should be present in Q and those who are uh, those who are not present in Q should be present in P so basically all elements are present in either P or Q but not both so some will go in P and remaining will go in Q right so again the same thing uh, like we choose A1 element first and decide about A1 there are four options now options favorable for A1 such that this condition is satisfied are out of these four now A1 goes in P not in Q that is fine A1 goes in Q not in P that is also fine A1 goes in both P and Q that is not fine because if we have to form P and Q as complementary of each other if, in, if, it, if A1 is present in Q it should not be present in P present in P not present in Q because we have to form complementary so this option rules rules out if not present in both of them A1 is not present in both of them now we need to take it or not now we cannot take it 
because uh, p and q should be complementary means the element that is not present in p we expect it to be present in q so every element should be either in p or q so none none of the elements sh should be present in either of the two so last option also rules out so for even we have two favorable options similarly for a2 we'll have two options for a3 we have two options goes on till a and we have two options so 2 2 2 goes to n times so 2 to the power n is the answer now 